All right, have we got some special knives to talk about right now? These were both loaned in from my friend Chris out in Texas. And this is the Corey Martin Model 11 and the Peter Martin QSP. QSB. QSB. I was actually with Chris when he bought this one at the California Custom Knife Show back in 2021. And I was glad that he bought it because then I wasn't tempted to buy it. The problem is now, and I have a little bit of conundrum happening internally that I'm just going to, that I'm going to share. He has this for sale <laughs> at a really good price, which is a lot of money for some people, but it's 1200 bucks for a handmade custom with exotic materials that we're going to get into in a minute. And then you've got Peter Martin, Corey's dad, with the QSB, which is really the blade shape and the style that I love. This one I like. This one I love. And it's also for sale. At a good price. I don't think it's a great... I mean, it's a it, it's totally fair and decent price. $3,700. I'm not as tempted by this one, but I am a little tempted. So let's start with Corey the Sun. This one is a little small for me, but the action is... Th I'm sorry, this one, the action blows away the QSB. Just move that off to the side. A little bit in the corner, but he can hang out. But the just the... The sound is amazing. And a lot of, uh, I'm not the only one. A lot of what we like about knives is the sound, is that auditory satisfaction and pleasure that we get when you fly open a knife. It's just part of the deal. And you hear some paper rustling in the back, maybe, because I've got the notes on this guy, and I'm just going to kind of wing it. So this is the Model 2. Has semi-blade, semi-bolsters, and I believe it is a semi-clip as well, out of the same material, which is just very cool. And let's just zoom right in. It has uh, cherry wood scales, titanium hardware, titanium liners, I believe the backspacer is also the same sand mine. I mean, it's beautiful. It works great in the pocket. And you know how I am with the pocket clips. Now, it is thick. I didn't do all the measurements. I'll pull out a tape measure and we'll get a few measurements. It's really thick behind the edge. This one is, and, and both of these really are more show knives than user knives. And I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem with that. Inside, they've got the C. Martin on the backspacer, which is kind of similar. That's how they do all their knives, which I think is nice. It's just a stunning, stunning knife. The only, I mean... God, I'm kind of stretching here as to what's wrong with it. It's a little small for me. But, I mean, I could totally carry this and use it. And, and it's rather thick behind the edge. Let's just grab the calipers really quick and tell you what that is. Because I can just see it by just the naked eye. You can tell that it's... Pretty thick behind the edge. Let me line it up here. 0.36. Okay. So this is not a slicey dicey. But it's a thick blade at 0.237. But it's very cool. 
So if somebody is interested, help me out here and reach out to me to buy it, to save my bank account from having to buy it. Because I don't know that I need another knife that's just going to sit here and be used for Instagram pictures. I'm really focusing on a couple of things at the end of 2022 here. Um, so I'm really trying to be cautious of my spending. Okay, there's some electronic stuff I want. I kind of want to upgrade my camera setup for my live streams and things like that. Um, so I'm trying to exercise self-control and willpower. So somebody else that's maybe interested in a true custom knife, let me know on this one. Hit me up in an email down below. All right, let me change, change paperwork here. And let's go to dad, uh, Peter Martin, QSB. Again, I know the price. Everybody kind of fell out of their chair. So I'm hoping you're recovered and you're back with me. Wait till you hear about the materials and you see this blade. Now it has a thumb stud and a flipper tab. And they call this hot blued lava lamp blade. Now this is, both of these are San Mai that they make themselves, if I'm not mistaken. Peter Martin's the only one that's doing this lava, um, lava lamp blade, and it's amazing. I, I mean, I want to buy it just because of the blade. I've really been drawn to Peter's work for a long time. So you've got a hot blued lava lamp blade. You have a meteorite bolsters. That's crazy. So this is truly from outer space. The thumb stud is also out of the same meteorite. And another bolster on the other side, of course. And a beautiful, beautiful mother of pearl scales which is not usually my style. I'm more of a tactical, tactical, dark, blacked out type of look. Also has his um, name in the backspacer there. The hot blued lava lamp is also the pocket clip as well as this slotted black, slotted back spacer. If you could, if I could talk. And again, another meteorite bolster and more beautifully done mother of pearl. Single thumb stud. But look at that blade. Guys, this is truly a work of art. This could be a total user. Now... <laughs> This particular one is probably not going to become somebody's user. But you could use this blade. And he does do some other ones that are not quite as exotic. He can make a plain Jane-ish version of this QSB. And a lot of them are made to order. Or he'll make some for the shows. This one, um, Chris ordered and wanted it just like this. So this was built just for him back in March of 2022. Chris is kind of hunting a couple of other knives and things. So that's why he told me that, hey, if there's interest, he would be willing to sell. So let's do a couple of quick just measurements so people are aware. Eight and a half inches on this guy overall. Okay, with a roughly three and a half inch blade. Corey's model 11 is seven and a quarter overall with roughly a three inch blade. Just to give you kind of an idea. The action is way better on Corey's. I'm just not going to lie. The sound on Peter's is great, whether you thumb deploy it or flip it. It's just a totally different 
sound. And the Mother of Pearl, while it's not my favorite, it's done really, really well on this. Here's with the Spyderco Delica. Just going to run through a couple of size comparisons so you guys get an idea. The Sharpie, the Kubi. Okay, for those of you that are into the custom knife scene and understand, here it is next to a custom Hellraiser. The Shark Nivco Ryu. How about the Frank Fisher Battle? And the smaller Frank Fisher Battle that I own. Again, just to give you guys some ideas. And yes, right there at that shot, that's a lot of money sitting on the table. Not going to lie. And to go to the other extreme, how about the VC Edge interface? I think these are great knives. I've been a fan of the Martins for many years. And at some point, I will probably own one. I would really like kind of a user version of a QSB. Maybe something a little fancy, maybe just kind of a sand my blade or the hot lava, the lava lamp blade, but with maybe just titanium scales or Damascus scales, something a little different. The, the mother of pearl is not really my jam, but the mother of pearl shows a lot of craftsmanship because it's a very difficult material to work with. Chips easy, you ruin material. So it's something really, you got to be at a next level to be able to work with Mother of Pearl and have it come out right. So a lot of times they'll have extra pieces, enough to do two knives, because there's a very good chance that one of them is going to get messed up. And you'll have enough. If you have enough for two knives, you really might only have enough to make one knife. It's kind of how it's been told to me. So anyway, again, this was a little bit different. Look and talk about some very custom knives that are super cool. If you are interested, please hit me in an email down below and I will connect you with Chris and you guys can work out the details. I will put the pricing in the description. If it's a, you, you can check down there. If it says sold, then it's sold. There you go. If there's a price, it's available. At least for a while. I mean, a year from now, if I don't update it and I send these back to Chris, I, I may not really monitor it, but hit me up in an email and uh, let me know. All right. Thanks, guys. I greatly appreciate your time.